that's what my head said. And then I think, what's wrong with her? Why put her car over the light? Because the brakes wouldn't hold it there. Hmm. Yeah, that would have been an embarrassing moment. It was a very embarrassing moment. Humiliating. Yeah. All right, so now, Lori, what what would you consider to be the fondest memory of your drag racing career? Let me see. There are so many. I would imagine it was when I won the Winter Nationals because even though I I I knew I could win and I expected to win, it was. I remember, you know, I heard the crowd roar, and people were cheering, and everyone was going crazy, and I looked out over the mountains at the end of the Chinese Pomona, and the sun was setting, and the weather was glorious, and I thought that my dreams had all come true, that, that something had happened to me, that I never, ever thought would ever happen, and it had happened, and I just, I couldn't believe that I could ever be so lucky that God could bless you so greatly in my lifetime, but he had. So what would you consider to be the most memorable race of your career? Mm, let me think. Probably being Joe Amato in the final in Atlanta. Because that was another time that we were within a hundredth of each other. And I beat him on the starting line, and, and it just doesn't get any better than that. I mean, Joe Amato's probably the greatest drag racer that ever drove a race car. Joe Amato is infinitesimally talented, and you, there's nobody that can compare to the type of drag race that Joe Amato was. And on two different occasions, I should try to tell with him that I won, and I'm very proud of that. And then that race in Atlanta... It was when he put. He gave me a race too. It was down the last two inches of the racetrack, but I crossed the start first. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm lucky. That's what I'm telling you. I mean, it's, it's hard for me to talk about so many of those things because, you know, I don't know why God chose me to give me the things He has in my life, but. There's, I mean, it, it, it happened. It was not all flowers and roses. Trust me. There have been all, I've been through awful, horrible things. People did awful, horrible things to me. I suffered through things that people should never have to go through their lives. But you can't have the good without the bad. Nobody gets all good. And plus, if all you ever have is good things happen in your life, how would you even know they were good? You have to suffer to know what the happiness is. Yep. That's very true. And trust me, I know the people that have never had anything bad happen to them. They're fabulously wealthy. They had everything in the world. And they still sit around their bed and cry all day long. So happiness does not come from things. Things cannot make you happy because they're not real. They can't love you back. Yeah. Well, Lori, I want to thank you uh, very much for taking time tonight to do this interview. Well, thank you for having me. I truly enjoyed it. I hope I didn't bore you and my political rant wasn't over the top. No, not, not <laughs> at all. I, I, was rant, okay. I was ranting with you, so we were both doing... <laughs> That's what I said. You don't give me a, don't give me a platform. Because I'll be like Donald Trump. I'll be talking all day long and, until nobody wants to hear what I have to say anymore. <laughs> I should, I, you know, I have to, I have to, I have to get you on, uh, on with my wife sometime. You got, you guys both go, you guys will be talking forever, man. I bet we have a great time. I'm sure yeah. we can really, really get going. Cause she's, if I ever come to Illinois, we'll go have dinner. Cause she's a total Donald Trump fan and she's, she's one of those people that she's trying to get the truth out there to everybody about what's going on with the evil Democrats and all that stuff. Exactly. Somebody's got to tell the truth. Somebody's got to get the truth out there. It's the mess of us two parts. And thank God Donald Trump is smart enough not to fall for it. He's such a smart man. But you know, then you got all the Democrats running around calling him an idiot because he hasn't gone to war. When did they become warmongers? I don't think they were all for peace and love and happiness. Hmm. I used to just change their opinion to whatever it's convenient for them. 
Yeah, some, sometimes my wife will use this uh, podcast for a uh, political sh- sh- like show, and she, she, she could put you as a guest down there. Well, you know what? I'm going to start listening to it because I want to hear her talk about it. That oh, be, that's exciting. I, I, I'd love to have you as a guest. Maybe we could do it tomorrow. Uh, Maybe we could do it tomorrow. She just said she'd love to have you. Maybe. No, I'd love to. I would love to. Well, Why don't you text, text, text me later and, and we'll set up a time. Does that sound good? Yeah, sure. Okay. Add me as a friend. Well, too. thank you, guys. Now, you have, you, sorry, get, what? You, have any, you have any final words or uh, thank yous you want to do before we close? Just I want to tell everybody out there that's listening, everybody that, that touched my life throughout the years, that you will never, ever know how much you mean to me. There's the things that people post for me and the messages that I get. They are so good in my heart. And I love each and every one of you. And thank you for everything that you do for me. And thank you for having me on tonight. And what's your wife's name? Tanya. Hi, hi. And I look forward to, to talking to you about politics. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, we're going to we're gonna have fun talking about politics. We are. It's all happening all right. right now. It's all happening. They're all going down. <laughs> I think so, too. I'm with you 100%. I agree they're going down. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be a landslide. They're going down. Bye, motherfuckers. Yeah, she, she, sent you a, <laughs> she, she sent you a friend request earlier on Facebook. What? Yes. Yeah, that's t- Tanya. That's that. That'd be her. That friend request you got. Tanya, call, call okay. on his aisle. Okay, I'll send you a friend request, and we'll, we'll get together. And do you have my phone number? So text me later and tell me what time we'll talk about tomorrow. Okay. okay. All righty. You have a great night, Lori. All right. Thank you, guys. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.